Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? Got three semi-quiet meows. Oh, I think a charging cable fell. <clears throat> so I have your meaty pate with uh, real chicken and tuna. And um, one kibble. So I'm starting to run low in the meow mix, so felt lazy, didn't feel like mixing in the meow mix tonight. <clears throat> so it's warm today, huh? Like the heat? Hmm, okay. Uh, how about I bring out your food then? So let me pick up the plate and I'll bring it out, okay? Be in the door. Okay, ready for your vid. Yep, you're ready for your food. Okay. Put the plate on the table. And get the water bowl. Walk past you. And we'll change your water bowl. A bunch of ants in it again. Okay. Oh, I didn't walk back this time. Now she walked directly towards me. <clears throat> okay, got the glove on. Put this head on my leg again. I think he was going for the glove. So it was a warm, actually no, it was a hot day today. <clears throat> Not uh, not like the heat wave hot, you know, we got, it was hot. So I was, yeah, kind of miserable today. It's hot in the house. So I woke up. Not really, really early, like I've been waking up all week, but still a little bit on the early side. I think I got a little bit more sleep last night. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been kind of groggy all day. I didn't take any sleeping pill. But uh, I checked the weather after I got up, and yeah, it was going to be hot today, and it's going to be hot tomorrow too. So it looks like today and tomorrow are basically going to be the same. I think today was actually supposed to be uh, a little more cloudy, but uh, I think temperature-wise, I think they're expecting it to be the same. <clears throat> so I went out, so I decided I was going to do my run today, so I was debating on whether I should do the run today or do the run tomorrow, and then obviously I'll take a recovery day on the the opposite day. So when I looked at the weather report this morning, basically it looked like it's going to be hot and the afternoon evening is not going to cool off at all. And my best shot is um, running in the morning because it will be the least hot of all the times. So I think I did this about a week ago. So I did a run 
about a week ago, a very similar situation. It was a little hotter actually a week ago though. <clears throat> and I had to go, oh, there he is again. So yeah, he's been itching a lot. I think I'm gonna have to give him a flea pill, but because of the vomit that he had the other day, I don't wanna give him a flea pill <clears throat> if he's just gonna vomit it up. So I wanna see if he continues to take down food okay. And then if he does, I'll give him the flea pill because the flea pills are kind of expensive. <clears throat> and I don't wanna throw money away. I think it might be my last flea pill too. So I'll have to buy another box. I wanna keep giving it to him. And yeah, not terribly enthusiastic about spending that much money again. But yeah, he is pausing a lot to scratch himself or groom himself. But I think his uh, fleas are actually not as bad as other times because in the previous times, yeah, he's had these like big grooming artifacts on his body and seems to just keep licking and licking and <clears throat> um, he doesn't seem to have those right now. So I'm a little tempted just to keep going and see the problem resolves itself. Yeah, so anyway, a week ago, yeah, I did a run in the middle of the day and it was way too hot. And I actually, I think, yeah, I gave up on the lap. I gave up a lap short. It was too hot. I'm really rubbing, rubbing against my leg again. So today, this is going to be a little bit cooler than a week ago. But it was still going to be kind of hot. Was right. Yeah, as I said, it was my best shot. So I went out for my run. And yeah, it was hot. But yeah, not as bad as last week, so... <clears throat> I could feel the heat, though, affecting my performance, so I was going pretty slow today. But on the bright side, uh, I did actually finish all five laps, so that's uh, eight and one-third miles. So I didn't have to cut it a uh, lap short this time. But yeah, I did start noticing, yeah, I was really struggling, I think, on lap four and five, so my time was pretty bad today. But I don't care. I made it, so I think that's all I care about today, since it was so hot. So I think, yeah, last week I mentioned, uh, yeah, the tennis courts were completely empty, or uh, completely unused, or not in use last week. So there are two different groups of people using two courts, but they were just sitting at the edge of the court in the shade. So one was sitting on the edge of the court because there's some trees on the perimeter that give it a little bit of shade. And then there was another group that actually set up a sun tent inside the tennis court. So today, about half the courts were in use, whereas last time, basically none of them, except for you know two, two groups of people just sitting on them. So it was that much cooler. He's ruining himself again. So, so it was cooler, but yeah. Not cool enough, because usually those tennis courts are always busy. They're always in use. And I didn't see that many volleyball games. Actually, no, I don't know if I saw any. Too hot. So I saw a cat on the far end of the park that looked like boots. I didn't get a good look, so maybe it's just been another black cat, the white face. But yeah, it looked a lot like boots to me, though. I thought the cat looked a little small to me, because boots is a pretty big cat. So I don't know, maybe it wasn't boots, but if it was boots, yeah. He, 
has a really large range because yeah he that would have been really far from here but yeah I've seen boots around the neighborhood in different places so I think he does have a very large range so it could be him or it could have been one of his uh, offspring maybe uh, he isn't uh, TNR'd uh, maybe yeah, he has a uh, offspring that looks a lot like him. That's a little smaller. That would explain why I thought maybe he looked a little bit on the small side, but I don't know. It's hard to judge. I didn't have a good reference for the scale. It wasn't that close to him. Okay, I think we're getting close to food time here. Food and food food. Your meaty pate. Okay, one more rub. Okay, let's get the food. Okay. Okay, I think I'm done with the brush. So since I was done with my run so early today, Tired and groggy, and also hungry. So I'm trying to fight the urge to snack all day. So I've been starting to have a craving for uh, spaghetti. I actually have two bags left of shirataki noodles. Those are those zero calorie noodles made out of, uh, I think it's like a radish. I've read like potato, but I think it's basically some sort of root. <clears throat> um, I heard, so I think, yeah, shirataki, you know, it sounds Japanese. I think yeah, it's popular, popularized there, but I've heard or read that the root itself actually may come from Africa, but I don't know. So anyway, yeah, the cool thing about the, uh, the noodle is, yeah, it's, it's almost zero calories, so it's basically, yeah, if you just want to bulk up your food and try to feel satiated, yeah, it's an interesting technique uh, to do your pasta or whatever in. Yeah. So <clears throat> it doesn't quite have the right taste or texture of like a, a regular noodle. So you, you can tell it's different. And then of course, yeah, it doesn't really have any nutritional value. So um, I think, yeah, my general thing is I usually mix it in with like regular noodles just Try to get a little bit of nutritional content without, you know, getting too many calories. Still trying to feel full. <clears throat> so the bags come in. Uh, they're like basically noodles are in the water, and so they um, have to be kept refrigerated. When I first ordered them, 
or not first order them. Uh, so I used to buy them from an Asian grocer a long, long time ago. Because uh, as far as I knew, knew, none of the regular grocery stores carried them. <clears throat> and yeah, they always found them annoying because yeah, you had to refrigerate them. And they're in this you know, liquid. They had, had to kind of rinse off and you had to cook. You, you didn't, yeah, you kind of like heat it, heat it in a pot and then kind of pan fry them after. And if you don't do it right, they come out a little more rubbery. So yeah, there's, there's kind of a sweet spot where you have to cook them, but not overcook them. And then you got to pan fry them. And if you do it right, they don't quite, they don't come out as rubbery. So I stopped using them for a while just because it was inconvenient for me to go to an Asian grocer all the time and because it wasn't on my normal um, route. And, um, and then, yeah, just the effort of doing it. And then they aren't that cheap either. Uh, but then, yeah, I found out, yeah, more uh, stores or regular uh, stores are starting to carry in. So I got uh, a bunch of Target the, other, the last time I was there. Um, but from the, the webpage, because I, I did order to pick up, it looked like the noodles were actually like uh, dehydrated, like your you know, regular noodles. So I thought, yeah, they'd figure out a different way of um, packaging and shipping the noodles. And so I was kind of excited. Oh, I can buy these um, dehydrated noodles and then I don't have to worry about keeping them refrigerated and I can keep them, you know, for a long time. So I just st stock up on them, use them as I, I need or want. And then when I get them now, they're basically the exact, well, not the exact same, but they're in the water uh, pouch, like the ones I bought from the grocer. So, it's a little disappointed with that. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, I still have uh, two packages left from my uh, order. I bought, I bought a whole bunch thinking that they were dehydrated and can keep them for a long time. Fortunately, yeah, they actually do keep a long time as long as you keep them refrigerated. So I think they last. I think the expiration date is something like five months out or something like that. So it's a pretty reasonable amount of time. I didn't, I didn't buy that many because I, I wanted to try them first. I, I bought enough knowing that I wouldn't hate them and I'd eat them, but I didn't I'd go crazy. So I'm thinking yeah, I'm going to do a pasta dinner at some point in the near future. Kind of a cheat meal, kind of not. But I'm kind of waiting for a... I'm hoping they have a slightly happier occasion. Something that we're celebrate. Something to celebrate, but I don't know if that's going to come anytime soon. So. We'll see. No, oh, we didn't leave. It's kind of far, so I might leave. It's hot right now, so I'm not terribly motivated to stay here. And then, as I've been, as I mentioned, yeah, I've been fighting the munchies all day. So once I get one, I get to eat dinner. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to eating dinner. Um, I did check uh, my scale recently, and um, yeah, I'm actually still making forward progress, so that's good. Especially a little worried. Last about a week ago, I did a cheat meal, and yeah, so I had that steak dinner. And that, boy, that was good. But yeah, one of the reasons I did the cheat meal then was because I was actually struggling uh, with uh, snacking, so I was actually feeling really hungry those days leading up to it, so I said I better do a proper cheat meal because all the snacking is going to just ruin everything. So I was a little worried, yeah, when I did the scale, yeah, I'd see the penalty for all those uh, little snacks and the cheat meal, but I think I was able to constrain the damage, so it didn't show up on the scale.
So one of the things I was doing was I was starting to try to snack on uh, more broccoli and uh, mini peppers. So I don't think they have too many calories. So. But let's see, one of the bad, the worst things I've been snacking on is I've been eating uh, spoon, spoonfuls of uh, peanut butter every now and then. Those have a very high calorie uh, concentration, so I gotta be careful with those. I'm not sure what he's grooming. Is that his uh, flea spot or is that uh, just a place he just wants to groom? So he to toss his water out. So it's been, I think, about a week since I watered the uh, plants. It's been, actually, I think it's been a little longer, but yeah, it's been a week. So I'm wondering when I should do it again. So. Um, the main tree, you can kind of see it in the, the one with the browning leaves in the back on the middle right. It's, um, it's, I'm worried about that one. It shouldn't be changing color this time of year. And I already had to cut off two thirds of the branches because basically they turned completely brown and died. So I was pruning it, trying to save the tree. But even though, yeah, I'm very concerned about it. I, I think it hasn't changed too much over the past month or two. It's getting a little more orange, but it's not it's not dead yet, so, so I'm hoping I can save that one. Yeah, there are a couple other trees I think have died. Not sure what's killing him. So one theory was voles were eating the roots, but yeah, I don't know. Could just be yeah the drought. Or I've read yeah there are a lot of tree viruses or funguses or diseases, especially and yeah Japanese maples I've read yeah they're pretty susceptible to those types of things so. Hard to say, but I think I saw a, a mouse or a rat or something climbing on the, the perimeter fence. So I saw this gray thing moving, you know, running across the top of the fence. I'm really far away, so I'm having trouble with scale, so. Not sure if it was a mouse or a rat or something else, but yeah. Some little critter was running across the fence and yeah, Scruffy was nowhere to be seen. So he's not doing his job. Yeah, he's really uh, going out the paw there. I guess I should take off my glove and zoom in. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in, Scruffy. So, oh, you're coming back, huh? So now they zoomed in. Gotta zoom out. Yeah, you ate, ate all the food.
Yeah, mm, that's interesting. He's fuck. Oh, he meowed. Does that mean you want more pets? Put the glove on again. Yeah. Yeah, he's waiting. Wow, he wants more pets. And he's meowing. Wow. So it's good that he didn't go in. No, I'm hot. So, uh, it's not as much into the cheek rubs, I think. But Okay, so how long should I pet you for? What was a cheek rub he wants? So uh, let's see how oh, I ran into uh one of my neighbors the other day when I was going to the park. So um she actually hasn't been living in her house uh for Wow, so she is 91 years old, and um, I think, yeah, she's been living, um, is it with her son, or one of her sons, or I forgot, or she had a care f uh, Assistant living facility, I can't remember. But uh, anyway, so yeah, she hasn't been in her house most of the time. Her uh, granddaughter uh, lives in the house now. Oops, he's itching again, I guess. So anyway, haven't seen her in a while since yeah, she hasn't been in the neighborhood. But yeah, I guess she was visiting. Um, and yeah, she's still kind of semi-independent. So she was walking all by herself with a walker uh, around the around the block, I guess around the area, neighborhood. And uh, she, as I was coming out, she was actually just, she had parked her walker in front of my house and she was just taking a rest sitting in her walker. And... Um, and so I said hi, since I hadn't seen her in so long. And uh, yeah, she's amazing. 91 years old, able to go for a walk all by herself. Even, you know, with a walker. And then her granddaughter uh, came out and she was uh, worried. Because <laughs> apparently, yeah, uh, she. Uh, her grandmother, you know, was only supposed to walk, I think, around this immediate area or something, was supposed to stay in this uh, section, and I guess uh, she ignored <laughs> ignored the rule, and she went around the entire neighborhood, and so, um, yeah, uh, the granddaughter was kind of freaked out, she was like, we're looking for you, and I think they actually, like, took the car and was driving it around the neighborhood looking for her. Um, and then she was... I guess also, yeah, told me, uh, so there was one time, uh, somewhere recently, the grandmother did get mixed up and got the houses confused, and so she actually does carry a, ident a identity bracelet, so if she gets lost, there's, like, contact information where she needs to go and stuff like that, so, but, uh, 
Today she knew where she was. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's one of those uh, rolling walkers. The ones with the wheels. And then it has like a parking brake so you can, and a seat so you can basically turn on the brakes and then you can turn it around and sit in kind of a chair. So yeah, my we, yeah my dad had one. So he, so because of his cancer and his brain tumors, he was losing his uh, ability to stay balanced. So he needed a. Walker. He hated using it, so they always had to force him to use it. But I tried to soup it up for him. Yeah, he always tried to stay independent. So in the mornings, he'd always try to get his coffee by himself, and he'd always, you know, try to get milk and sugar or whatever he wanted for his coffee, and you know to the microwave and heat it up and so he's always navigating the kitchen by himself and he actually fell a couple times because he wasn't using the walker fortunately no serious damage he didn't break anything so yeah we were worried about that but i was trying to you know always get him to use the walker he wouldn't you know never never listen to us never listen to me but yeah, I tried to soup up his walker. Yeah, he's a lot of bitches there. So I tried to soup up his walker to, you know, if he's going to, you know, ignore me and be independent. I was trying to figure out ways I could at least, you know, make it safer for him so he'd use the walker. So I, so one thing I bought him was a special cup holder that I could mount onto the walker because one of his problems was he was trying to hold the cup, take it, you know, to different places in the kitchen, and so that was one reason you wouldn't use the walker, because you needed to hold the cup. So I got him a special cup holder that would mount to his walker, and then I got him a bunch of non-spill mugs. So I said, use the non-spill mugs, so you know, put them on the walker, and then you can push them around yourself. I got him some really nice mugs, but, uh, Kept complaining, different things. So one of the things was yeah, the the, mu the mug I got was guess because of the non-spill design of it, it was a little bigger than a normal mug. It's a very nice mug, um, or set of mugs, and uh, yeah, ceramic so you could heat it with the microwave. But he kept complaining, and then it had, I guess one of the things that made it heavy was it had a the non-spill base. So it was like weighted, so you, if you, it's hard to tip over. And so he says, it's too heavy. I don't like it. So I'm sweating. I'm dripping sweat right now. Almost fell in scruffy, but I think it hit the, glo the glove. Okay, Scruffy, I think I need to go in. So I'm gonna finish this up. So I hate to leave you, but uh can't. Yeah. Have to resume this another night. It's nice that we made some progress tonight. Okay, I'm gonna end it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Leave me out. I had to put it one more time. Okay, Scruffy, I gotta get up. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna put the glove away. Okay. Okay. So, oh, he scratched at me, but he didn't make contact, so.
Okay, I'm gonna dump your water. So, let's take a look at that tree. Lost water. Okay, yeah, he's backing up now. Oh, he's not backing up too much. Oh, let me get the string toy. Let me see if you're scared of the string toy or not. Like the string toy? No. Yeah. Not happy with the string toy. Want to play with the string toy? He's not impressed. Okay, Scruffy, I'm gonna put it away. Call it a night. Okay, so I'm gonna grab your bowl. Just kick it in. Okay, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.